Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. So, continuing with Riku's story today, we have one world left in our starter deck. We're going to Neverland, everybody! We're back in Neverland. Let's take a look at our deck. Alright, we've got some low-valued cards, sure, but we also have the Pirate card. Change the values of all cards to zero. That's a very interesting card. We also have the Jafar card, which will help. But the most important thing is we don't have any large bodies to deal with. So just trying the Pirate card out for a bit. Less for one reload. So I am not liking this, because <laughs> the instant I play a zero card, someone else breaks it. But I love the music. Neverland has my favorite battle music in the game. And we get stagnant space. Oh joy. This map is also considerably larger than Monstro was. Oh boy, so my goal is head up, head that way, then head that way. And we can ignore four of the rooms. I think I'll go back to my Jafar strategy that I was using for Monstro. I gotta say, the Crescendos are really nice enemies, although they, they I feel like they only should be in Wonderland because they were basically made for Wonderland. The problem is, once the Jafar card runs out, we... we in a bit of trouble. So as we can see, we're running a little low on HP. So we might have to be using Mickey Mouse cards a bit more. Ooh, level up! That's nice. More HP. I don't really use dark mode, so... DP is not that much of a concern to me. I don't really care if I lose the one valued card in this battle, to be perfectly honest. That's the thing, with Riku, you can strategically stock cards just to lose low-valued cards so you don't have to go through them all the time. Alrighty, let's start making our way through the world. Let's start with a simple Sleeping Darkness. This is what I hate about pirates, is that they can stun lock you in place. Because every time they hit me, I get stunned. Oh, I'll have to heal with Mickey Mouse. Level up, more HP. So as you can see, Riku's HP is bubbling up really rapidly. He's got way more than Sora had at this time. And I know that's just a personal choice that I've been choosing to level up his HP a ton. But honestly, I don't see the, what's so wild about DP, honestly. Because DP we rarely even need. Because we really only enter Dark Riku mode in boss battles. And only in some boss battles. Out of map cards again. But I got another level up. Let's boost attack power. Alright. Time to fight the man himself, Captain Hook. We need a this valued zero red card. Looming darkness, then key of beginnings. So my strategy for Captain Hook, we're gonna use the pirate card and then break a ton of his cards to enter Dark Riku mode. Ha! <laughs> 
one more will do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Cool, we're now in Dark Riku mode. Oh, the stupid ship made me miss with Dark Fire Adapt, but that's okay. We can just beat him up a ton. Oh no. He instantly made us leave Dark Riku mode. That's okay, we took out half his HP. You know, Captain Hook, I never like being on your pirate ship anyways. Alright, let's get rid of his... I use the Parasite Cage ability too. Uh-oh. Don't tell me the emulator crashed. That would stink if it did. Okay, no it didn't. Okay, Whew. That's a relief, because that would have been horrible if it did. So Captain Hook has a problem when he uses his slates. But, besides that, he's not too bad. Give me experience points. And we get the Captain Hook card. Which is okay, but not amazing. One of the reasons why I like doing this world last. Out of the starter deck, anyways. Alright. Well, that's a pretty clear-cut path to the exit. We just go this way and up. Screw those extra rooms. We don't need to level grind that much as Riku. Okay, five or higher. I'll use the lasting days. I like lasting days. Green cards in general are pretty good in Riku's story. Stagnant space isn't amazing, but it does in a pinch. And being able to stun enemies for multiple waves was really good to come in hand. No pirates doing stupid stuff anymore. Well, a lot of stupid stuff anymore. Take that. Ooh, and a level up, that's nice. Alright, I did not like how Captain Hook got me out of dark mode really quickly, so I do want to upgrade my DP a bit now. Out of map cards. I don't want Almighty Darkness, it's a terrible card. Alright, let's get rid of some of our Looming Darknesses, because it's basically a worse version of Teeming Darkness. And we can get rid of some of our Teeming Darknesses as well. We also don't need that many Sleeping Darknesses. I'd like some more strong initiatives, please. Alrighty. We are out of Neverland. What the? What are you supposed to be? Surprised? I guess you would be. I bet it's not every day you meet your twin. Too shocked to speak? This should come as a relief, then. I'm a replica of you that Vexen made. What? You mean a fake me? I didn't say fake! Just because you're real doesn't mean you're better. We share the same body and the same talents. There is one easy way to tell us apart, though. Know what that is? Unlike you, I'm not afraid of anything. Are you calling me a coward? You are a coward. You're afraid of the dark. The darkness inside you scares you witless. Look, I... But I'm different. I embrace the darkness. I can make it do whatever I want. In other words... I can wipe the floor with you! Oh boy. Really? Well, let's... Let's work our way up to Dark Riku mode, how about... I like how good our Castle Oblivion deck is, by the way, it's super nice. I don't know why I did that, I had another zero card. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's afraid of the dark now, huh? Oh wow. <laughs> nice homing attack, man. Mad props. Oh, 666. That's a great slate, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm Dark Fire Guy, you! Hope you have a zero card, man. You don't. <laughs> okay, dark mode feels really good. Even if it's like, Rick was probably not supposed to be using the darkness. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> I just did there. Let's do DP boost again. The DP boost really helped me out for that fight. Hey, fake! I thought you were gonna wipe the floor with me. Go on, laugh. I'm still new. I'll get stronger and stronger. Just you wait. It won't be long before I surpass you. Next time we fight, you're finished. Sorry, you missed your chance. I'm finishing you first, right here. Ha ha ha! It's nice to have darkness on my side. How could you be scared of something so thrilling? You're missing out. Shut up! So now the coward is playing the tough guy. That's cute. See you next time, real fane. Try not to miss me. Come back here! I'll show you who's a coward, punk. Well, this just got real interesting, didn't it? How did it feel to fight the real Riku? He's spineless. I'll be running circles around him in no time. Before that, wouldn't you like to meet another hero? You mean that Sora kid? He's here in the castle, I hear. Want me to take care of him? Nothing's definite, but yes, it may come to that. I intend to make good use of you. No worries. Sora's just one more person to crush on the way to Riku. Oh, ho this is interesting, isn't it? Come on out, you fake! Show yourself! Fake? Oh, I don't think that's the right word. It's Shirtless McDarkness, yet again! What are you saying? He's just a copy of me. He said as much himself. A copy? Yes. Or maybe a model. He's an example of what you should be. He accepts the dark just as you once accepted me. But now you are afraid. Perhaps you are the one who is being fake. Name one thing I've been afraid of the... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally butchered that line. Name one time I've been afraid of the darkness. In the card worlds, you grapple desperately with the darkness. Desperation is a product of fear. You fight the darkness because it frightens you. No, I fight the darkness because you can use it to control me and you're a creep. Oh, I get it. You think I'll stop fighting the darkness just to prove I'm not afraid of it. Nice try, but I'm gonna keep fighting. So stubborn. Then continue your fight if you must. Eventually, you will see. You cannot resist the dark. Literally, because eventually when you card break enough and take enough damage, you're forced into dark mode. Obtain world cards. It would have been better if it was like, oh, you can activate dark mode now. Do you want to? If so, press... I don't know. Um, press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, AB start or something. I don't know. Anyhow, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Cover Farty. We got four new cards, so four new worlds. So those are going to include Atlantica, Halloween Town, Wonderland, and Olympus Coliseum. We are doing Atlantica first, because Atlantica sucks big time, and we want it to be as small as possible. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.